All right, today we're diving into something pretty wild, a really fascinating security bug in the super popular Proxmox virtualization platform. What if I told you that the one time you think your server is safest, you know, during a simple reboot, it could actually be completely exposed? So yeah, let's just dive right in with that critical question. Is your server totally naked when it reboots? I mean, think about it. What if that routine, everyday task was actually the moment it's most vulnerable? You know, one user put it perfectly. They described the state of a Proxmox server during startup as standing in the digital rain without an umbrella. And honestly, that just perfectly captures the core of this bug, bug 5759. Okay, so let's get into it, the naked boot flaw. So what's really happening here? Well, for a very brief but very critical window of time, your server's network connection is totally active before its software firewall is. And that leaves it, yeah, completely exposed. Yeah, it's like we all trust our servers to be these digital fortresses, right? But with this bug, it's like the guards only show up for duty after the main gates have been standing wide open for a few crucial seconds. Not exactly ideal. So what's causing this? Let's talk about the dependency dilemma. Now, you might think this is just a simple mistake, but it's actually way more complex. The problem is really baked into a logical but ultimately flawed sequence of events that's all controlled by the Linux startup system, SystemD. And this, this right here shows you exactly where things go off the rails. In a perfect, secure world, the very first thing that should happen is the firewall goes up, blocking everything. But what Proxmox is actually doing is the complete opposite. It's putting the network up first. So let's break it down. Step one, the network comes up. Your server is now connected to the internet. Step two, Proxmox waits for the cluster service to start so it can sync with other nodes. And then finally, step three, the firewall comes up and protection is enabled. It's that huge gap between step one and step three that's the problem, and it gets worse. If that cluster service hangs for some reason or just fails, the firewall might never start at all. And the bug reporter, ECY, just nails it with this quote. If proxy cluster never starts, the host is left out there in the open with all the network you be. I mean, that's it. That's the fatal flaw right there. A single point of failure can lead to your server being totally exposed. And this is where it gets really interesting because this bug report kicked off this incredible debate. And it wasn't just about code. It was really a clash of philosophies, pure hardcore security versus the practical need for stability. From the security purist point of view, this whole thing is a non-starter. As Yessi pointed it, any firewall appliance that worked this way would not get a pass on this from any security review. And they're right, it totally violates that fundamental principle of being secure by default. But then you've got the developer side. They're looking at the very real, practical risks. As one of them, Fabian said, if there is a nice way to implement this without a high risk of breaking systems, then it would be nice to close this gap. See, for them, a simple fix could literally lock thousands of users out of their servers by breaking their custom boot setups. And look, the stakes here are absolutely real. There's this tool called Shodan. It's basically a search engine for internet-connected devices. And a quick search shows thousands, and I mean thousands, of Proxmox management interfaces are just out there, publicly exposed on the internet. This makes the vulnerability way more than just some theoretical what-if. This is where the tension really ratcheted up. A developer basically suggested that for servers that are already exposed, this little boot time gap makes no practical difference. And whoa, <laughs> that did not go over well. The reporter fired back with this sharp rebuke, saying that's not something I expected to hear at all. The point being, any lack of protection is a big deal. And that really gets to the core of the whole debate, right? It boils down to this. Is a firewall that isn't always on truly a firewall? I mean, is a temporary security lapse, even for a few seconds, an acceptable price to pay for making sure systems don't break? Or is it just a fundamental failure of what a firewall is supposed to do? All right, so after all that debate, all that back and forth, a really clever compromise started to emerge. It's called the local cache solution, and it looks like it could solve this whole dependency mess without breaking everybody's setups. So what's the big idea? Well, it's actually pretty brilliant. The proposal is to just save a local copy of the firewall rules, a cached version that can be loaded before the network or the cluster even thinks about starting. This totally breaks that dangerous dependency. So the new, more secure startup would look something like this. Step one, a new, let's call it an early bird service starts up first. Step two, it immediately loads those locally cached firewall rules. 
Then, step three, the network comes online, but hey, it's already protected. And finally, step four, the cluster and everything else starts up normally. See, the vulnerability gap is gone. Okay, let's talk about what you can do. This is your defense in depth plan. Look, a fix for this is probably on the way, but this whole thing is just a huge reminder that relying on a single layer of security, especially a software one, is a really risky game. It really comes down to the golden rule of security. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't put all your trust in one single tool, especially when it's just software. So the real question is, what can you do right now to protect your own systems, bug or no bug? Okay, here are three solid actionable steps that create layers of defense. First, use a hardware firewall. Put a dedicated appliance right in front of your Proxmox host. It's an external guard that's always on. Second, set up a VPN. You should never, ever expose your management interface directly to the internet. Use something like WireGuard or TailScale. And third, of course, watch for updates. Keep an eye on those PV firewall package change logs for the official patch. Do these things and this boot time flaw becomes way less of a threat. And that, that leaves us with one final thought to chew on. A really important question, actually. If your firewall is just another piece of software, can it ever really be your first line of defense? You know, in this age of hyper-converged everything, where the firewall is just another app that has to boot up, maybe we need to completely rethink what we consider the true perimeter of our digital fortresses.